Hey everyone, I figured I'd give you a quick update on my uh, situation during this COVID pandemic. Um, as you can see, I got my COVID look on. It's been a while since I've been groomed and it's starting to show and I kind of kind of feel it. Um, but eventually I'll get it cut and I'll be human again. But I wanted to show you some of my paintings so you can see what I do while I'm keeping isolated. Uh. Um, okay, so this is one painting I did a long time ago. I recently redid it because I put it under resin. So it's a gliny shine to it. I painted this almost a year ago, more than a year ago, and it was been hanging in my office. So I brought it home and I put it under this liquid glass known as resin and gave it a nice shine. It's like a mirror. This is my first time attempting this, so it's not perfect, but it came out pretty good for a first try. Okay, so this is one of my favorites. This is number one. Number two, a little smaller, is this one. No resin, but I did put I put some lacquer on it to give it a little shine. Um, it's red, white, and blue. I'm sure other colors, but I call this America. And it, the, the uh, process is called the Dutch pour, which most of these are called Dutch pour poor paintings, okay? And this is much smaller than the previous one you just saw. Next, I think I try a round canvas, so I did this one, also a Dutch pour. This is a matte finish, no, no, nothing covering it, no liquid glass, no lacquer, it's just a plain matte finish. So, I wanted to try a round canvas. This is a lengthwise canvas, I had extra paint, so I poured it, and this is not, this, the process of this is called a, um, a flip cup, a flip cup pour, but it's multiple colors, quite busy, but I like it, okay, next one is also a lengthwise, can no, actually it's a, uh, this one right here, I think I try a blue background as opposed to a, a white background, I like how the red shows in front of the blue and black, so this is good. I'm going to put this under resin, liquid glass, in about two weeks. My next pour, I had leftover paint, so I did this small one. I kind of like it. Red and white, uh, no, yellow and red. So I kind of like it. The next one is not a favorite of mine, but I'm going to keep it anyway. It's on black painted canvas. It's just multiple colors. I want it to look like three flames. Flame, flame, flame. It didn't turn out quite that way. I, may, I might try it again. So this is not a, not a failure, uh, but not an absolute success either. And my last one, see, see how it is big as this? This is pretty big. My hand is this size. So... This next one is the largest one I've done. And I'm a little proud of it because I expected to really mess it up. Oh. Oh. Mm. Okay. I'm going to have to back up for this one. Oh. Mm. This one right here is my largest on the biggest canvas with the most ink. And it, it's pretty good. Um, I learned a lot while doing this. Section-wise, if I did it all like this, I would be very pleased. If I did it all like this, I'd be very pleased. If I did it all like this, I'd be very pleased. But all three of these sections are different techniques. Both this section and this section has silicone added to it. This section does not. So this is more smoother, whereas this has a lot of jagged and holes and stuff like that. I like both techniques, but I don't think mixing them is a good thing. So next time I'll do it, either all silicone or no silicone. All this color or all this color. This is a mix. And I'll bring it up closer. You can actually see it. I like the colors. I like the way the designs came out. This is no silicone, it's mostly smooth. 
and this is more silicone. You can see the little circles look like a reef under the deep sea. So I like both formats, but only one format per canvas I think is best. So I'll send you a picture with all the pictures, all the paintings in there. Um, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye.